what was your MO modus operation with special effect team? Obviously, it is. I have I've worked with the visual effects supervisor for uh, many years, and so our communication is very very good, and um, I listen very carefully to what he tells me, because. I realized many years ago that if I listen to the uh, visual effects supervisor, he can make me look like a genius. And so I take into account whenever he says to me, have you thought how this is going to fit into the, the movie? This is nighttime, there's a moon over there, we're gonna put some soft light. And by using his knowledge and guidance, I can build for him what he needs to make the effects work. And so we can save a lot of time and, and uh, heartache by giving him what he needs. And um, we shoot a lot of tests. We, we, we sh I like to shoot all the sets before we get there. So um, I have the uh, second unit cameraman and his guys, I usually have them pre-light the sets for us while we're shooting over here. And then they will shoot tests on that set. And in our dailies, I can see what's coming my way in a few, in a few days. And we can sort of dial it in more or less by remote. So he comes to dailies and, I, and we all sit and we go, oh, it's a little, can you change it to half blue or whatever? And uh, it's a really great system. So basically we have two crews working at the same time. And the effects, when they get very complicated, involve first unit and second unit. Uh, usually second unit will do the, the real meat of the effect shot under the direction of the effects supervisor who directs second unit. When you, when you do tests, you test basically look, concept, or some specific de details which you'd like to... Um, depending on how much CG is going to happen, um, we can shoot absolutely no tests. But if there's physical effects going to happen, on the set in conjunction with the CG, I want to see the effects on camera, uh, unless it's an a explosion or something that we can't do. But if, it's, if it involves rain, wind, everything on the set, I want to shoot that and see what we have to bring on the day uh, to make sure we have everything there. Uh, when you talk to special effect guys, would you ever wish to know more about very specific area of special effects to be more active participants? Yeah, uh, well, if there's interactive light, we need to know what it is and where it's coming from. And so that means going to look at the uh, visual effects concept art that they have so that we can then say, oh yeah, that's a daylight kino or a whatever. Uh, but um, interactivity between what's going on on the set and the CG world is very important to make the effect feel like it's not an effect. Well, it's what we call here expanded cinematography when traditional cinematography is supposed to so to find a way of unifications with what called special effects, but now it became close to each other. It became like what we call expanded. Yes, definitely. Which is certainly your f same as original. Your film also most likely will affect how new cinematography will perform after your film. And what direction do you think progress of cinematography is going now? Uh, well, it's become a lot more simple to do visual effects. It's not nearly as specific as it was in terms of roto, rotoscoping and balancing the green screen, if there is green screen even. We get to the point now where we're not using green screen or blue screen or anything. We shoot it and then they just roto it out or 
it's incredible what has happened. So this movie, I think, because we made it deliberately retro looking, uh, is going to, I think, stimulate people into thinking, how can I do this in camera? As opposed to, how do I not do this in camera and do it in CG? So, you know, uh, I've, I've worked on movies where the explosions are all fake. We can do it in CG. It, it's safer, it's quicker, it's better. But uh, uh, in this movie, everything's real. All the explosions, the effects, the physical effects are real. And you see that, you can feel it, you can more or less smell that it's real. And it's so easy. Uh, there's a lot of puppeteering. We have puppets that uh, are in the movie and they are shot in camera. And we have physical effects of, I can't tell you what they are, but you'll see them and, and you'll think, well, is that CG or is it real? And that's what I think the younger directors and technicians are going to see and want to emulate because it brings another layer of believability or control to the movie.